what's going on my YouTube fam so uh, today I just wanted to make a short video real quick um, I'm kind of currently waiting for uh, a lot of tobacco like six pounds of tobacco so I can make as many blends as I want so in the meantime while I was uh, waiting for my tobacco instead of using this mold um, this is a mold that I got with the uh, roll your own kit from leaf only so and, and it doesn't actually come with this so I, I drilled a hole in this and uh, put this like it was from a toggle bolt and it's a square washer and stuff like that that way you know what I mean that way I can do whatever with it but instead of using this little mold here I figured I'd probably start making more cigars and I want bigger cigars so I was doing some research and it's really hard man it's really hard to figure out anytime and I mean I might be an idiot but anytime you type in cigar mold uh, <laughs> cigar mold presses don't come up <laughs> go figure anyways um, so I put cigar mold press um, I looked everywhere all I can find was used wooden ones and they were like the old school ones from somebody's grandpa in Cuba but um anyways I found a company called whole leaf and for 70 bucks they have brand new um, synthetic cigar molds um, and this is one of them so it's actually it's really sturdy really heavy like I think it's I think it said it was like four four pounds or something like that um, it's really durable one thing about this uh, and this is kind of why I went synthetic I don't I don't have the money to keep buying other I like stuff that lasts you know what I mean and um, I did a lot of research on the wooden ones and one of the biggest problems with the wooden molds is after time they they warp which would make sense you put you know you're putting moist objects in between you know sandwiching in between wood I mean it's gonna something's gonna happen so this is kind of what it looks like um, it's really really smooth it, it's just really nice the size I went I went to was a uh, 52 by 9 I kind of like I like in between 50 and 54 is kind of my favorite uh, ring gauge and um, one of the cool things about this is I ordered the 9 inch one so it's 52 by 9 so the 9 inch one um, I, I recommend buy whatever you like whatever ring gauge you like I recommend uh, buying um, I recommend buying a longer um, mold you know so that way you can always you can always cut down your cigar but you can never add more to your cigar so that's that's kind of um, yeah that's that's why I got the 9 inch one um, I, I, I have plenty of options to make different sizes uh, different lengths of cigars um, but other than that yeah I cannot wait to get my tobacco and start you know rolling for for real and um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys this and um, I'm gonna leave where I got this in the uh, description this is the way to go I feel I feel like if you're gonna buy something buy something that's gonna you know that's gonna last um, but anyways I kind of wanted to show you guys this because I haven't seen anybody talking about cigar molds and cigar you know cigar mold presses I, I haven't I haven't seen anything on YouTube about them you know so anyways do I think these are are better than wooden ones I don't know man that's been a debate since these synthetic ones came out um, do I think that I think this will out, outlast the wooden ones um, I mean I think wood wooden ones are old school and these guys have been you know they've been rolling with wooden ones for a long time here's the deal right if you're if you're a good manufacturer and you you roll good cigars it doesn't matter if you have a wooden mold or a synthetic mold you're gonna make good cigars you know what I mean like it's not like it's not like it's a magical box you put your cigars in and all of a sudden BAM you got really good cigars you know what I mean so I don't know I haven't found anything so I just wanted to show you guys this so um, thanks for watching and um, subscribe like I'll catch you next time Peace.